Mark Peters, Prendary Weatherspoon, and Eli Wright. You can start with your questions. Eli, it seemed like when you came in, you gave some instant energy and kind of started to run back. What, what were you seeing there from them? Oh, can you repeat the question? Well, you came in and gave some energy and really kind of started to run for the comeback. What were you seeing out there from them defensively that allowed you to make some plays? Oh, I just seen that um, that it was kind of a little tired, you know what I'm saying? And um, I knew I could run the floor, so I just um, just wanted to run the floor. And then um, Lamar, you know what I'm saying, getting passes from him and things. So, yeah. It was just, yeah. Hey, Eli, what do, you, what do you think about the depth of your, of your guards on this team? Oh, yeah, we have a lot of depth. Everybody can score in a variety of ways. And um, I just feel like that's what helps our team a lot. Um, we have a deep bench. And, um, and it, it could be anybody's night, any um, any uh, any night. So, Lamar, what was the difference between the intensity level between the first half and the second half, which you got in the second half, getting more on the ground? Well, um, South Carolina was the most, the more physical team in the first half, like hands down. Anybody can see that. So we just wanted going to halftime, you know, picking our head up. Tyson hit a big shot to cut the lead to seven. Before that, the big guy missed a three. It could have been 13. So we just wanted to capitalize on everything that we could. And everybody was on the same page. And we didn't want to lose. And we trying to make this run for the tournament. So everybody was on the same page and locked in. Well, Lamar, you feel like it was your job to distribute the ball throughout? There were several spurts in the game where you kind of backed off your own shot and went out of your way to distribute. Did you, yeah, that's that intentional? My, yeah, that's always like my first look to see if those guys are going to like, see if Q going to see if it's tight or not. Anybody not, you know. I'm always the second, third option. You know, if I feel like I can make a shot, I feel like I got enough room to shoot, but then I'll take a shot. But most of the time, I'm looking to set those guys up and facilitate it. Talk about finding a way to get to the tournament. How much is. How much is that kind of driving you guys right now? How much is that on your mind when you get off to a slow start like that? You know, it's in the back of our mind all day. It's been in the back of our mind. It's about two weeks now, you know, two weeks straight. We've just been focused on making the tournament. You know, we lost two tough losses back to back, but we just wanted to stay in there and just keep fighting. You know, we still we still got a chance to go with the SEC being so good. Everybody's taking losses, everybody winning. So, you know, it's up for grabs. And we just trying to win out, going to the SEC tournament, hoping to get a good push to make that run to the tournament. Keith, was this as physical and intense of a game as y'all had this year? Mm, I, I wouldn't say, I mean, it's one of them. Mm, I know we had a physical one. I said this about the third one, because we, we played them once down in South Carolina, so that was a physical one. And we played Alabama here, so I think that one was a physical one too. But, I mean, we just had a couple breakdowns in the first half offensively. You know, we went to our plays, ran, so we, we did a better job mm. in the second half running our plays, and we got some baskets. What was the difference in, the, in running the place in the first half versus in the second half? Well, we were just getting pushed out so far. So we were running our offense almost a hell quick. And, I mean, we just settled down in the second half and just ran our offense, got in the spots that we needed to get the ball to, and everything worked out. There was a steal that you made. Um, I think it was one of the last plays of the game, actually, on Silva. What did you see on that steal? That, that uh, I just seen him. Um, a dude hedged, and he slipped. And, um, we, we usually, the big man usually switch, but um, I, I was on the bottom side, so I just tried to take it away and end up getting a steal, so that was good for us. Q, it seemed like in the first half, you guys, like every break went against you. Like every loose ball seemed to find their hand. How do you maintain your composure when it seems like maybe it's not your night and you still find a way to win? Well, we just stand together. I mean, we weren't getting those 50 50 balls that we supposed to have got, but. I mean, we just come into every hard, just staying together, trying to be positive, and everything worked out. Nice you really like kind of mentioned it about any night anybody can step up. It seems like it's been that way for you guys for the past two months, whether it's you or Lamar, Nick, Abdul, Holman, Stapleton. I mean, just talk about the depth of this team where Eli can come in and give you guys a spark like that. I mean, I think that's good for us. So, I mean, we, we just don't depend on one person, and everybody can do their job. and. If somebody ain't doing good one night, I think somebody's going to step up and lead the team. So, I mean, I think it's great for us. We just playing together right now. Lamar, in the first half, they were sitting in hot picking rows, and the guys, the bigs were getting to the basket pretty easy. What was the, what was the difference between that and the second half? Were they communicating or executing better? Um, you know, I think the big man kept switching the angles of the ball screen. So, you know, it was getting confusing at that time. Like, we weren't communicating. So we had to, we was trying to adjust to just pin them up to one side, but you know, they kept reading on the screen, and that's what kept getting us. All right, thanks, guys.